Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. There is a key difference between a good friend and a bad one. Good friends do what you ask. They enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend, such a disappointment. That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. Jesse's good friends flocked to me. A the better Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> and now Jesse is trapped underground forever. One more ungrateful loser buried away. The saddest part of all, really, is that Jesse will never get to see how much better I've made Beacon Town. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Didn't think to fortify these tunnels into town. Oh. Speaking of fighting admins, I can't help but wish we still had Zara around. I know she was. Well, she was a little much. But having an ex admin on our side seems like it could have come in handy. Oof, I guess. She still scared me, though. I think Zara's already done plenty in the fight against Romeo. And she's been at it a lot longer than we have. She deserves a break. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, maybe Sara's lucky being where she is right now. She's not currently marching towards a fight with the Admin. I'm just glad that friends of Fred stayed at the entrance to that... that Heckmouth. This is far too dangerous for them. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zora's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. I just can't even handle thinking about that happening to the others. To our home. Hey, no one is going to end up like Fred. But how do you know? Fred didn't know just how bad Romeo was. So he underestimated him. We can learn from the people that came before us. I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us, and we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Let's do it. Woo! My, that was loud. Here we go.
What do you guys want to bet that's where the primary terminal is? The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah, probably. We gotta find a way up there. Might be a good idea to hit the map shop. Regroup, get some supplies. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Guys, admin! And... He's with Axel and Olivia. We gotta hide. Typical. Heading exactly where we wanted to go. Then I guess we just can't get caught. Why exactly are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are going to need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to at all. It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town, like Champion City, for example. And... Boop. He's a monster, through and through, and he needs to be put down. Yeah, I... I guess you're right. Now, how about you run along and get that fireworks show ready for the big keynote, eh? Yes, admin. Uh, Jesse. I think the admin's distracted. Yeah. We should go grab Axel and Olivia while we have the chance. What? You were always so worried about Champion City, and now... One less thing to worry about. Psst. Olivia! Axel! Oh my gosh! I knew it! I just knew it! <gasps> Whoa, am I seeing double? Shh! Jesse, I... What is... Come on, I'll explain everything. But we have to get off the streets. To the map shop, quick. I don't know what to say. Admins? A world beneath the bedrock? Yeah, I still think you made that part up. I mean, I'm relieved that the Jesse out there isn't the real you, but... But nobody else knows that. What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean, with what just happened outside? Axel and I almost did. And we're your oldest friends. I mean, if we couldn't tell, I... I'll just have to make them understand what happened. Make them? I suppose if anyone could make them listen, it'd be you. But you said there's a way to stop this guy, right? Petra! Stella sucks even when she's on our side, but nobody deserves that. Ever. Her whole city. Gone. In an instant. It's insane. Nobody should have that much power. Add it to the list of horrible things the admin's gonna pay for. I'm so glad you guys are okay. Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? 
The what? In the underneath, we got our hands on something called a word of passage. Hashtag potato451. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. Ugh, that'll be payback for what he's done to our poor shop. Ha. <sighs> ha. <sighs> Come on, hopefully it's not a complete wash. Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> yeah, it used to be the safest place around. That was before the admin's goons were everywhere. Nothing to worry about. We've got our best fighter here with us. As much as I appreciate the <coughs> completely accurate compliment, this is the admin we're talking about. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. While you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. You really think that someone might try to get in? Don't know. Not taking any chances. It's like our home is still here, but it's not home, you know? Hey, we'll make things right, okay? Yeah, I know. But seeing what happened to Champion City has me a little more worried than I'd like, you know? I'll be fine. Go help Jack. Hey, Binta. Adjusting okay? Just looking at scraps from some of the places Jack has been. Maybe someday I'll get to see them. If we defeat Romeo, that is. We will. Let me know if you find anything useful. Of course. Don't think we're going to be able to read our way up to the tower. Doing okay? Well, hang in there, okay? We're gonna make this right. Hey, you two. What's up, Jesse? You two haven't seen Lucas around, have you? We got separated when the admin zapped us to his prison. No, he... he's just been... missing. Kinda went underground. I'm... I'm sure he's okay, though. What brought you both back to Beacon Town? Yeah, we, uh... we heard something weird was going on. I had no idea how weird until we saw the lava, though. When you thought the admin was me, did he tell you anything? About a terminal, maybe? No. The guy's a jerk. Never answered a single question. He does spend a lot of time in that floating tower, though. Would she never let us go to? I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. We'll be here. Keeping an eye out. 